Hey everyone, welcome back to another hole of the week. I'm Jordan Cooper, Academy Instructor here at Chambers Bay. Today we are on the 18th hole, Tahoma. Tee shot here can make or break it. So on the left hand side, there's a bunker that we can absolutely hit it into. If we're in there, we're gonna be forced to lay up. Uh, we're gonna have to try to avoid the Chambers basement and bunker uh, when we do hit that layup shot. Hit it to the right hand side and that ball will roll up a decent distance. I've got a good shot to get on in two. However, when you go up the right hand side, you've got this bunker that the further ahead you go, the more bunker there is. So it's a really tight window to, uh, to try to hit it into. I'm gonna do my best to go right at the pin. The pin today is just right in the center of the green. If I can hit that spot, I will get a ton of roll out and I've got a chance to have less than a fairway wood in to get on in two. to. Uh, I'm sitting here right in the middle of the fairway. Uh, I've got 262 to the pin. So if I hit my three wood well, I've got a chance to get it onto the green. Now, a couple of things as we're hitting up into the green. The safe play would be to play over to the left so that if it does come up short, I avoid the bunkers just short of the green. However, with the pin being on the right, if I want a chance to get it closer to the pin, I need to try to go over those bunkers. The advantage here, depending on how far you can hit it, is there is nothing wrong with hitting it long on this green. There's a big backstop, there's no bunkers back there. You may be left with a tough putt, but it is a putt for eagle still, so you'll still have a pretty good chance for birdie. So my play here is I'm gonna grab my three wood, I'm gonna try to hit it hard, hit it solid, see if I can get this thing up onto the green. <laughs> a perfect three wood into here. Pin is uh, in the back of the green here in the middle. I've got about 60 feet. I also have to deal with uh, quite a few slopes on the way there. So if I'm trying to get this to nestle up close to the hole, I'm probably going to have to aim somewhere in the neighborhood of 10 to 12 feet almost right of the hole. It's going to break that much as it rolls up. I do have that as an option. Another option that you have when the pin is in the back, if you're a little bit nervous about maybe not getting it up this hill, hit it way hard, roll it all the way up onto the backstop and let it trickle back to the hole. You'll probably end up, if you get about the right line, uh, definitely within 10 feet. You might even end up within six feet if you go that route. I'm not gonna do that on this putt. I'm gonna try to get it close to the hole, gonna see if I can work this big break up that direction. <laughs> a little bit too much of that slope and I hit it just a just a tad short so a little bit longer second putt than I than I want but it is still a second putt for birdie so uh, I'm, I'm nearly straight in maybe right edge just gonna gonna break just a tiny bit uh, I'm looking to, to, to make this and cap off my round with that that birdie <laughs> 